Hi, I'm here with my 2012 Suzuki Kazashi. I got a couple requests to do an oil change. Uh, it's pretty standard. It's my time to do mine, so here's your video. You do not need a lot of tools for this. Always buy five quarts. You'll save money for rather than buying the individual quarts. And you're going to need four and a half quarts for the 2.4 liter. And that's the same whether you have the Jeep Renegade or Cherokee. It's still just four and a half. Depending on where you live, you can use different types. I use 5W30. I'm in Northwest Indiana, so make your choice. Fram filter from Walmart works. I go tough guard, but it's a 4386. You'll need a 14 millimeter. And if you have luxury enough to have this, it's a, a 10 millimeter. A Phillips screwdriver will work. I would not use a drill just because the screws for the splash guard get really rusty really fast. If you're not a large guy like myself, you'll only need to jack up the passenger side. No sense in raising both sides of the car, putting it on jack stands. Most cars underneath will have an arrow usually sometimes, or there'll be notches dug out below. That'll show you where the frame of the car, where you should connect your jack to safely. All right, first step, removing this bottom splash guard. There's two of them, one for the driver, one on the passenger. Again, you only need to do the passenger side. Save you a lot of time because there's like 14 of these. Mine's actually broken missing, obviously, because it should go all the way to the back there. So, give me that. So take your 10 millimeter, and I believe I got, see, that one just fell right out. I don't even know how that was still staying there. See how rusty they are? It's just falling apart as this drill's hitting it. That's what the problem with the Phillips screw is. is. Next, you take your 14 millimeter. Lefty loosey, righty tighty. During the end, I like to push the screw in, try, maybe try to relieve some of the, or hold up some more pressure so the bolt doesn't just fly out and you get oil all over your hands. Like that. With the Castro GTX, it recommends roughly 5,000, and that's what usually what I go with. So there's 5,000 miles worth of oil. So after a couple minutes, I like to pull this as far forward as it can go so that it's still dripping in the oil catcher. Now here's the tricky part. Right here's your oil filter right in the front of the engine right underneath the uh, headers. I'm gonna try to line up the bottom. And the same as, if, same as down there, lefty loosey. Screw it a little bit. And before the oil completely comes out, just let it drain before you pull that uh, oil filter completely off. Because it's messy. Now when you pull it off, you're going to want to hold it up, keep whatever oil's left inside there, inside there, not all over your engine bay. While it's draining, I'll quickly show you. These are the aftermarket rims I went with. Uh, they're 18 inch. They're made by Drag. The, uh, the model number's 3-4, so it'll be Drag 34s. Very beautiful rim. 